Guys, what is going on? And welcome back to Vroom Vroom Dana. I know what you're thinking, man. Why are you out here in the garage? I just wanted to show you guys a quick little synopsis of the situation at hand. Uh, we've been doing a ton of bike work recently, man. The garage is an absolute disaster right now, uh, but we're trying to get her prepped for the 2018 season. I'm running a new front tire with like a whole new tube setup. I got a new rear brake. Uh, TBT hooked it up with new seals so the seals aren't leaking no more. Uh, on the front suspension so I was trying to get her dialed in for the 2018 season she's filthy right now because I've been riding her have a little bit of a, a little oil leak spitting out where it connects right there uh, but she's looking pretty good at the moment uh, we got the boob orders that just went out for Christmas which if you guys wanted some merch uh, now's the time to do it because Christmas is coming up and uh, if you wanted it before then if you wanted for a gift uh, it's probably a good time to get ahead of that right now also we got the yellow bike right here which uh Actually, it's looking pretty good. I think the clutch is starting to go on the bike, or I need to adjust the clutch maybe a little bit. Uh, that's why I also haven't been renter too much. It's kind of a mix between I wanted to get some seat time on this bike uh, because I wanted to get a feel for some of the new things. That way, I just don't go in cold for 2018. Uh, but also, I need to adjust the clutch on this bad girl to get her up and running. But she'll be fine, man. Give her like a week. Actually, probably less than a week. Give her a couple days, and she'll be ready to shred it out in the hills. So that's kind of what's been going on recently. Alrighty guys, so I want to get into something absolutely awesome before we get into the rest of the video, which is my dream car. I'm so excited to show you guys, man. It's so freaking awesome. But first, let me show you something that's just as awesome. If you guys remember from not too long ago, we introduced the app War Robots onto the channel. An absolutely crazy game with awesome 3D graphics. It has a huge variety of robots, tactical 6v6 multiplayer. You guys know, man, this game was always evolving. And the last time I talked about it, it's changed since then, man. It now has over 70 million installs and they've released so many updates that it's like a completely new game. It's a bonus link, you guys, in the description which offers you a massive bone if you if you want to get into the game bonus link in the description man gets you guys a huge bonus you guys can get a GI patent robot a unique skin four Punisher machine guns 100 gold and 400,000 silver which is absolutely an insane thing to get when you start this game. You guys could see all the stuff you could do with this money that's provided if you use that link down in the bio, man. You guys are gonna be able to get new guns. You guys are gonna be able to get all kinds of crazy stuff for your robots. I'm already buying some new guns with the provided bonuses. You guys could go in your hangar. You could get different robots. You could get whatever you would like. And you have such a jump on the competition with that link in below because you could get all this stuff that's gonna take these other guys a while to get. So like I said, man, link down in the the bio check it out you're gonna get a ton of bonuses and uh yeah man i hope i see you on the game all right, all right, all right. <laughs> i gotta put the game down i'm getting a little addicted to do it gotta put it down we're gonna head outside right now and i'm gonna show you guys what the heck i was talking about all right you guys we made it to the outside world and i have something to show you guys that i'm so excited for man it's actually a little toasty outside but it doesn't matter because what I'm about to show you is something that I've been wanting to get for so long and we finally got said thing and I'm super excited for it. I know all my moto guys out there, every single one of you guys watching this video are gonna respect the hell out of it. So with that being said, let's turn the dang camera around. Ready for this like epic panning to go kind of see what it is. So we're gonna pan in a little bit. Oh, that's the front of it. Can anybody guess what it is? Can anybody guess what it is? Can anybody guess what it is? It is a Chevy Express Moto Van, my friends. We are rolling in style. We got ourselves a 2006 Chevy Express 3500 sitting on the black wheels. It's like a silvery color. It's a little bit darker than like a pure silver. But my friends, we have got ourselves a freaking dope moto van. I'll show you the insides first, which is not as exciting as the other side, but you guys can see that we got the extended passenger van that has all kinds of room in here, man. We got an aftermarket double den stereo that came in the truck. We got these big like captain chairs up front. We got tons of room in the back, which let me get back there actually. Let me go around so you guys see what the heck I'm talking about. Let's just pop that open 
And what was I saying, you guys? There is so much room back here. Oh, dang, look at that, a Havoc decal I gotta put on the back window. I got a small one on there right now, but we gotta put it in the back. Let me get my jacket off the ground. But you guys can see there's an absolute ton of room back here. I actually want to convert this back seat into like a folding bed, kind of like a futon. You guys know you got like the couch and it folds into a bed. That's what I kinda wanna do with this. That's kinda on my project list. You can see under the seat, man, has a full stereo system system has subs has speakers this thing is dialed you guys could see that this is a uh, block from the back because this used to be a passenger van so there used to be seats all the way through this van but the guy I bought it from already started the conversion so you can see he built this wall right here got a couple hooks right here for the helmets these things are so sick my friends you got the Voss helmets you got the Havoc goggles already laced up on the helmets ready to shred but my friends this thing is so sick let me uh let me take you to the back so you can get a full appreciation for what a moto van is if you've never heard of one before alright all right. All right, let's open the back. This is what I'm talking about. We got a little like eight inch Havoc decal right here. Sorry that everything's so dirty, man. I actually finally took it out, loaded her up. I went out to the farm, I went riding, but this is like a little eight inch decal. That one in the car is like, dude, I wanna say it's like a 15 inch decal or something. It's gonna take up like the whole window, but it's gonna be so sick, but whatever. Let's turn the camera back around. Let's open the door. And this is what I'm talking about, my friends, man. Totally set up to be a moto van man you got some little storage containers of course we already got the vroom vroom dana sticker up there obviously got some two stroke mix chain lube all kinds of goodies up there and you guys can see man it's already set up for a couple bikes we got wheel chalk wheel chalk tie down anchors in the side got a toolbox mounted in here with no tools because like I said, I just got the thing, so I haven't had a chance to really put anything in there. Even came with a roll of paper towels to clean up after yourself. I mean, that's a huge win, right? So let me climb in here. You can see they put metal down. We got carpet over this thing right here. And we could come into the back. Like I said, man, you got tie-down anchors. You got tie-down anchors, tie-down anchors. Got this sick little shelf up here that they built in the van also. Got an extra uh, air filter up there as of right now. But you guys, this thing is so freaking dope. And I'm so excited to show you guys, man. I've been wanting a moto van for so long. I want to do some traveling. I want to like be able to go places without having the worries of leaving the bikes uh, in the back of the truck if I was staying at a hotel or something. Like I'm not going to leave them in the back of the truck if I just go like for a day of riding. That's stupid. But if I went out and had to stay at a hotel or say I went a six hour drive, had to stay the night somewhere, at least now uh, we could have a little bit of comfort knowing that the bikes are inside something. This thing's hooked up with a full Viper alarm, tracking system, all kinds of gnarly stuff so it's pretty sick man and I'm just so excited yeah man what do you guys think what do you guys think of the dream car man the freaking moto van I'm so so pumped we're gonna back up a little bit things huge man I got the passenger van uh, and that's because of the fact that I wanted something that had more room just the little cargo vans like the Ford E350s or the Ford E250s or just the regular Chevy Express cargo vans they just didn't have enough room man they didn't have enough for what I wanted to do uh, so I wanted something that had the room because you could never ever have too much room for a vehicle so I wanted to get the passenger van that way there's more than just two bucket seats so we could take more people riding we could fit more people in the back you got room in the back for some stuff he said you could even squeeze three bikes in there if you really really wanted to but man my friends like I said so pumped to finally get one I've been wanting one for so long and uh, let me know what you guys think man what do you guys think of the moto van do you like it do you dig it would you think you would rather have a truck or do you like the whole van swag so let me know down below in the comments man what do you guys think of it and uh, like I said I'm so pumped All right, I had to drive the van home, had to hop on the dual sport and do a little bit of riding today. I couldn't just be that boring in a video. I mean, it was some awesome, awesome news, but we still got to mix it up with a little bit of riding, that's for sure. And I am so pumped to have that van. There's like so many opportunities now, man. We could do some traveling, maybe Joey Mack and myself or uh, Gina. We could go out and like go out to Arizona or go out to Moab and Utah or I don't know, man. We could do a little bit of traveling now because this way we'll have a place to store the bikes. We could go do like a little trip around some states, go ride with you guys. 
I don't know. All I gotta say is the floodgates have been open. Oh man, where do you guys live? Where are the good spots to ride outside of California, man? I heard Moab is pretty dope. Arizona, I heard it's pretty awesome to ride out. Where are you guys from, man? I need your input. Where should we go? Where should we take the moto van on our first journey out of the States, man? Where's the destination you guys would like us to go? Maybe we could set up like some meets along the way. I don't know, where are you from? Where's the first place we should stop at? This sick little Havoc promo. You guys know how we just released the goggles. We could do like a road trip. It's like, yeah, we just released them time for a road trip this truck in front of me is gonna kill me that'd be like the dopest promo i mean you guys showed so much mad support for the release of the new goggles you guys are already swooping them up i can't wait till they get to you we just shipped them out a couple days ago if you've ordered them man they should be to your doorstep here very very soon but a little worldwide tour of a havoc release party now that's like some next level stuff oh man i don't know we'll definitely put it on the back burners we'll definitely uh think about it for sure man maybe like i said set up something nice let you guys know and then start our journey out there but with that being said man i wanted to end it right there the main point of this video i just wanted to show you the van i wanted to show you what was up and i hope you guys are just as stoked as i am it's something i've been wanting for a while and it's so awesome to finally have so thank you guys so much man for the support you guys are absolutely amazing that's vroom vroom day and i had a little delay in the vroom i was shifting but you guys are amazing thank you so much and uh, like always, I'll talk to you in the next video. Deuces, my friends. This is the anthem. Told the world I need everything and some. Yeah. Two girls, that's a tandem. She gonna do it all for me when the bands come. Got it all, yeah, I'm young, rich, and handsome.